Hello and welcome to the Following Truth podcast, a podcast dedicated to sharing the truth about what the Bible really says. I'm your host, LJ. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at Can Edomites Repent? One of the favorite claims of many of the Hebrew Israelites is that the white humans are Edomites. They also claim that Edomites, like their father Esau, the father of the Edomites, cannot find repentance, and therefore an Edomite, or in other words, the white-colored humans, cannot repent and therefore cannot obtain salvation. I would just point out that this is not what all Hebrew Israelites believe. However, there are major camps, such as the ISUPK and the IUIC, that do teach this. Now, irrespective of if white humans are in fact Edomites, which is a whole separate issue that I will deal with in another podcast, it is still needs to be investigated if the claim regarding the Edomites being unable to repent and find salvation is true or not. It would be important for any Edomite, whoever they may be, to know this information and if, in fact, they can or cannot repent. The support for this claim is found in a single passage, two verses to be exact, in the book of Hebrews, Hebrews 12, 16 and 17. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person, as Esau, who, for one morsel of meat, sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. So, let's analyse this and see if the claim stands true. The reference to Esau selling his birthright goes back to the story of Esau and Jacob, the sons of Isaac, after they were born. The story is found in the book of Genesis chapters 25 and 27. And it is very important that we analyse this story in order to come to the correct conclusion regarding what the passage in Hebrews is actually saying. Now I recommend reading the full story for yourself, as I will only be summarising it here. Esau was the elder of the two brothers. They were twins. He sold his birthright to his brother, Jacob, for the price of a meal when he was hungry. And this is found in Genesis chapter 25, verses 29 through 34. And Jacob sought pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die. And what profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he sware unto him. And he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils. And he did eat and drink, and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. After this, Jacob tricked Isaac, their father, into giving his blessing that Isaac had intended to give to Esau, to him instead. Isaac gave his blessing to Jacob, believing he was Esau. And this is found in chapter 27, verses 1 through 4. And it came to pass that when Isaac was old, and his eyes were dim, so that he could not see, He called Esau his son, and said unto him, My son, and he said unto him, Behold, I am here. And he said, Behold now, I am old, I know not the day of my death. Now therefore take, I pray thee, thy weapons, thy quiver and thy bow, and go out to the field and take me some venison, and make me savoury meat, such as I love, and bring it to me, that I may eat that my soul may bless thee before I die. So, we see that Isaac had sent Esau to get some venison for him. We also see from verse 4 that Isaac had intentions of blessing Esau. However, Esau and Jacob's mother, Rebekah, who loved Jacob more, heard this and told Jacob to pretend to be Esau in order that he might be able to obtain the blessing instead of Esau. And this is Genesis chapter 27, verses 5 through 10. 
and Rebekah heard when Isaac spoke to Esau his son. And Esau went to the field to hunt for venison, and to bring it. And Rebekah spake unto Jacob her son, saying, Behold, I heard thy father speak unto Esau thy brother, saying, Bring me venison, and make me savoury meat, that I may eat, and bless thee before the Lord before my death. Now, therefore, my son, obey my voice according to that which I command thee. Go now to the flock, and fetch me from thence two good kids of goats, and I will make them savoury meat for thy father, such as he loveth. And thou shalt bring it to thy father, and he may eat, and that he may bless thee before his death. And this is exactly what Jacob did. After he had prepared himself, Jacob then went into his father and pretended to be Esau. Genesis 27 verse 19. And Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau thy firstborn. I have done according to thou badest me. Arise, I pray thee, sit and eat of my venison, that thou soul may bless me. Isaac then blessed Jacob, thinking that Jacob was Esau, making him lord over his brother. Verses 27 through 29. And he came near and kissed him, and he smelled the smell of his raiment, and blessed him, and said, See, the smell of my son is the smell of the field which the Lord hath blessed. Therefore God give thee of the dew of heaven, and the fatness of the earth, and plenty of corn and wine. Let people serve thee, and nations bow down to thee. Be lord over thy brethren, and let thy mother's sons bow down to thee. Cursed be every one that curseth thee, and blessed be he that blesseth thee. Now it is at this point that Esau returned with the venison that his father had sent him to get. But Isaac had already bestowed his blessing upon Jacob. Isaac then realized what Jacob had done. Verses 30 through 33. And it came to pass, as soon as Isaac had made an end of blessing Jacob, and Jacob was yet scarce gone out from the presence of Isaac, his father, that Esau, his brother, came in from his hunting. And he also had made savoury meat, and brought it unto his father, and said unto his father, Let my father arise, and eat of his son's venison, that thou soul may bless it me. And Isaac, his father, said unto him, Who art thou? And he said, I am thy son, thy firstborn Esau. And Isaac trembled very exceedingly and said, Who? Where is he that hath taken venison and brought it to me? And I have eaten of all before thou camest, and I have blessed him. Yea, and he shall be blessed. Now, we see that Esau cried for his lost blessing and begged his father to bless him. However, Isaac told Esau that he had already blessed Jacob and made him his lord. Verses 34 through 37. And when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great and exceedingly bitter cry, and said unto his father, Bless me, even me also, O my father. And he said, Thy brother came with subtly, and hath taken away thy blessing. And he said, Is not he rightly named Jacob? For he hath supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, and behold, now he hath taken away my blessing. And he said, Hast thou not reserved a blessing for me? And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants, and with corn and wine, and I have sustained him. And what shall I do now unto thee, my son? And again Esau wept and asked for a blessing. Verse 38. And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Now when we look at the story that the passage in Hebrews is referring to, we see that the passage has nothing whatsoever to do with Esau wanting to repent of his sins and being unable to do so, or to be able to find salvation. It was repentance that Esau could not find was not his, but his father's. Esau sought with tears his father's repentance, that he should bless him. Esau wanted his father to rescind the blessing that he had given to Jacob and to give it to him 
as the blessing was rightfully his. Yet his father did not recant his blessing that he had already given to Jacob. The passage says nothing about Esau's descendants and their ability or rather inability to repent of their sins. This is typical Hebrew Israelite tactics, taking a verse and completely twisting its actual meaning in order to push forward their false doctrine. It is also very disingenuous seeing that they are in fact fully aware of the true context of this story of Esau and Jacob as they use it when making Esau the white man. We see that back in Hebrews the preceding context refers to a call to holiness and following peace. Without such a man cannot see the Lord and also a warning against bitterness. Hebrews 12 14 through 15. Following peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Looking diligently lest any man fail of the grace of God lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and therefore many be defiled. Esau was bitter that his blessing had been stolen. He hated Jacob for what he had done and vowed to kill Jacob. Genesis 27.41 And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning of my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. The context of Hebrews is not referring to repentance of sin. So, regardless of the colour of Esau and the Edomites, the passage in Hebrews says absolutely nothing in terms of whether an Edomite can repent or find salvation. Salvation is available to everyone. Thank you very much for listening to the Following Truth podcast. I hope the information has been useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.